take two, action. All right, so um, some of the stuff up here we've talked about before. So going back, we were talking about concentration and how it was stuff in a given volume. And then we also talked about molarity, which is the number of moles, which is stuff in a given volume, which is in this case, liters. And to talk about concentration, we use the brackets. So that was kind of what we talked about last time. We also talked about how if you have pure water, you're going to have this amount, this concentration of H plus, and in pure water, you're also gonna have the same concentration of OH minus, so it'll be the same number. And so they're equal in pure water, and that is what we would consider neutral, right? So today what we're gonna do is we're going to move on from that and say, well, what happens when they're not neutral? And when they're not neutral, we can kind of guess from previous chapters that if we have more of one, it'll be more acidic. And if we have more of the other, it'll be basic. So let's talk about how these two numbers are related though first. There's this interdependence of the OH concentration and the H plus concentration. If OH goes up, then H plus goes down, all right? Now the neat thing about this is whenever you have an inverse relationship like this, where one goes up, the other one goes down. No matter what the two numbers are, if you multiply them together, you're always gonna get the same number. So you're always gonna get a constant when you multiply H plus and OH minus. Now, what's that number? Well, we'll figure it out in a second, and that's why we have our calculators out today. That number is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th molar squared. The, and the, since it's a constant, we actually will denote it as KW. K is a constant here, and it's the, um, the ion product constant for water. So that's what the KW stands for. The W is for water. Now, where did they get these, these two numbers, or this one number from, this 1 times 10 to the negative 14? If you remember, these two numbers are what H plus and OH minus represents. So if we put those two numbers in our calculator, we should get times 10 to the negative 14. Now we're gonna try that because it's important for us to make sure we know how to use our calculators. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative seven, and then times 1.0 times 10 to the negative seven. So take a moment, plug that into your calculator and see if you do get this right here. Depending on what calculator you have, you're going to type this in as 1.0 and then that E button and then negative 7 and then times 1.0. It's going to look just like 1E e on there and then negative 7. So that's all you would have to put in there. You don't put like times E or E times 10 to the E or any of that stuff. This E, e button represents all of this. Now some calculators actually have a button that looks like this, times 10 to a little unknown that you use that button instead of the E button. All right, so those are the two things there. Okay, so when we multiply these together, we get times 10 to the negative 14th. Another hint, when you're multiplying exponents, you add them together. So that's why you can do this one in your head. Negative seven plus another negative seven gives you negative 14, all right? So that's kind of a, a trick for it. And then you would multiply these two together as well, and that still gives you a one because they're both one and one. So there's a little mental math you can use for figuring that out as well. Okay, now not all solutions are neutral. So the first thing we're gonna talk about are acids. And so if we have HCl, HCl, strong acid, right? Strong acid because it's one of the six or seven that we memorized. That means it completely dissociates or splits apart into these two, which also means we only use this one, one way arrow, all right, it just breaks apart. Okay, so in this solution, the H plus concentration is gonna be higher than the OH minus concentration. Now, how do we know that? Well, we know that because as you add HCl, it's gonna break up into H plus and Cl minus. So there's just going to be more of it. There's just gonna be more of it in that beaker. More H plus in the beaker. And as we said, if H plus goes up, 
then OH minus goes down. This is an acidic solution because the H plus concentration is blank then 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. It's going to be larger than 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. Now this can be a little tricky because the H plus concentration can be, let, I'm going to make this up, let's say it's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 6. This number is larger than times 10 to the negative 7th, right? Because it's closer to 0, we're okay with that? Alright, so you're getting closer to 0, so this one's going to be larger than if it was to the 7th or to the 8th or anything like that. Okay. So that's kind of the general idea here. Basic solutions do the opposite, okay, which is kind of nice. So here's a strong base. We know it's a strong base because of where it is on the periodic table. We know that group one and group two, you know, skipping the first two in those groups going down, if it's with OH, it's strong. So single-headed arrow, we get Na plus OH minus. In this solution, the H plus is lower than the OH minus. This is a basic solution. Sometimes they, they use the term alkaline. It's an alkaline solution for basic things. Um, so H plus is going to be less than 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. So if we saw these things, this would be like um, H plus, since we're talking about H plus, then it would be maybe it could be, I don't know, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 8. And that's a smaller number because it's a larger negative number, further away from zero.